All right, hello friends, and welcome back to Paleo. I'm absolutely loving this game, guys, and I just returned to it because I want to carry on the adventure here. I want to keep on checking out the world, explore it as much as possible, keep on doing some more quests, and hopefully eventually get to have some of you guys join into the adventure. So that being said, let's just dive right in and uh, see what the game's all about some more. There we go. Oh, look at that. Our shipping bin sells have actually been sold, so we got ourselves 348 gold uh, for selling everything. Uh, unfortunately, everything here did not grow up, but guess what? We actually have to water down everything once again. So, um, let's just do that again. Let me make sure everything is watered down and ready. Because you guys can see, it has started growing, but it is going to last a while before everything is actually going to be forageable. I'm loving this game. Uh, hopefully today I'm going to be able to start getting uh, the home barely started building up. Although I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a lot of planks, wooden planks and uh, resources. So I might not be able to do it because I know that um, getting our hands on a sawmill is not going to be cheap. We're going to need quite a bit of coins. Now, uh, I think I'm also going to have the ability to make myself a bed if I'm not mistaken because the order has arrived. Oh, never mind. I need more fur and we need more wood. Okay, in that case... Let us, uh, hold up, actually, let me go here. Give me some water just to have it on me. And let me start chopping down some trees. We're gonna need a lot of wood. Actually, you know what? It is 8 a.m. I'm not gonna do any of the uh, loot collecting just yet. I wanna do some missions, and later on, when everybody's gonna go sleeping, that is when I'm actually gonna start doing some other missions. Let's get rid of all of this stuff. Uh, the rest of it is going to have to stay on me for now. Uh, also, hold up. Maybe now that I just started the game, can I apply those outfits that I have? Yes, I can. Yay, there we go. We have the chopper outfits. And of course, we can also put it on in a different shade. I kind of like this one more, the second color. This one is kind of like bland. Uh, this one has a little bit more contrast. All right, so we got that on. I can also put on the hat. <laughs> that is so cool. Love it. I think I'm going to play with the hat today, to be honest. Um, I do not have the ability to get any glasses on, but I can actually get my new trousers on as well. And where are the chopper trousers? Hello? Am I blind? Oh, there we go. We got the chopper trousers. And again, they're going to apply the same style. Uh, hold up. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done because I want to see... And we also have... Wait, I cannot... Oh, I think I cannot grab the glider just because I gotta unlock it. We gotta complete the Like a Bird um, mission. Then I'm gonna be able to hopefully get the chopper outfit. But look at this. Oh, we look so cool. Love it. <laughs> uh, absolutely love that uh, some of you guys have joined in using the referral code. And because you guys did that, of course, the, the game just rewarded me with this awesome outfit. Alright, let's head on out. Let's do some quests. Oh, love my character outfit. There we go. Hey, buddy. We got Sophia here. I cannot wait to have you guys joining the adventure with me. That's going to be super fun. All right. So, first thing is first. I think I'm going to make my way to um, where we first started playing the game, to be honest. At the same time, we are going to need quite a bit of wood. So, let me chop down a little bit of tree around. I think we need quite a bit of wood, so I'm going to want to fill up my uh, entire backpack with as much food, uh, wood as I can get. We got to talk to Gina about the Phoenix Shrine and see uh, what's happened with it. And at the same time, I want to see if I can actually use that battery that we have uh, on the uh, doorway. Behind the waterfall. I think there's a door behind the waterfall. That's what I got to go to. Yeah, the try the battery on the door behind the waterfall. So these are two of the missions that I really want to try out. Alright, so maybe I actually have to make my way through here and climb all the way up for the mission. I mean, isn't this where I first started playing the game? I think it is, right? Yeah, I think it is because this is where we actually saw Palea from a distance. Wait, where am I? Where am I even going? I mean, this is the phoenix bird where we actually spawn back in. Um, but I'm not sure how to get to this thing. Hmm. 
Hmm. Definitely not going the right way. Apparently the hunter also wants to talk to me. Oh, I gotta use the battery here. There we go, we found it. Alright, broken door. Enter ruins. I got to be now. I think I placed the battery in there if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we entered the ruins. There we go. Uh, we gotta place a table at home as well to uh, finish up the spiffy it up mission. Alright, let's see what this is all about. Anything that we can collect down there? No. Hmm. Inspect. A ball with rust on the bottom. The inscription has been worn away by time. Yeah, I'm not sure what I gotta do with this one. What about the door? What is this gonna say? The strange writing says, Knowledge grows in the mind even in times of strife. To enter here, you must apply that which grows in life. What? Solve the riddle. So I'm guessing we gotta place uh, something. Maybe like a, um, a leaf. A bow with rust on the bottom. The description has been worn away by time. And this one says, Knowledge grows the mind even in times of strife. To enter here, you must apply that which grows life. Is it maybe water, I wonder? I mean, water kind of grows life. Ah, water! You gotta place water. I knew it. Hey, Here we go. I absolutely love that the game has kind of like these riddles because I personally love solving riddles and puzzle games. Oh! Hey, look at that! We got Gina! Hey, Gina! Sorry, I was in like you actually did it! I heard the rumblings and came running. Oh. This place is amazing. It must have been some kind of a temple. Oh. Can you actually read the carvings on the walls? This is ancient human writing. Oh. Actually, no. That makes perfect sense. You're a human. Of course you can read your own language. You're, you scout ahead. Helka and I will survey this room to see if we can uh, learn something. I think uh, having you around is going to be a good for me. Seeing you appear out of nowhere nearly made me rethink most of my assumptions about the world. <laughs> Alright, Jida. Oh, there you are. Good. I always started to think I dreamed the whole thing. Uh, so yesterday, Hikli and I were examining the ruins more, trying to find out uh, what's going on, why the humans are suddenly back. And I found a piece of statue that looked like it fell off the phoenix, so, well, I returned it. Which is when I started glowing, uh, just like when you dropped out of the sky. It stands uh, to reason that these uh, two events seem to be connected. Oh. I'd like to test my uh, hypothesis though, which means I need you uh, to go try and check out the shrine, but uh, only if it's convenient. I really should get back to it. <laughs> Alright, I'll try to do that. Uh, what about Hecla? What's she gonna Please, say? Every day I'm confronted with the dilemma of what to prepare for Gina's dinner. Perhaps soft mushrooms will suffice? You okay? You seem quite... Uh, you seem quiet actually. Uh, we should not be here. Especially not Gina. What? Why? This... this is a sad place. I am prohibited from saying more at this time. I'm sorry, please do not ask me any more questions. Hmm, so apparently she knows more than she's sharing for some reason. I'm equipped with many cooking uh, routines from the human era. Unfortunately, nearly all the species involved in, uh, say nutrients preparations are extinct. Alright, I, I wonder if I'm going to have to place something here, but first, let's see uh, what we can do with this shrine. Oh, there is a doorway. What? Hold up a minute. So, can I interact with this? The inscription of the base says, Dear Phoenix, protect this place and its people. Let your waves wash away uh, our something. The final word is too faded to read. Hmm. Let your waves wash away our... I don't know what. Oh my god, this place is awesome! This chamber was added for your protection. Do not give up your faith. The king shall free us when it is safe. Wait, uh, and our people will roam the land again. Is this kind of like a temple that the humans built? But now the humans are all disappeared and for some reason they are starting to uh, reappear again? Hmm, I wonder what has happened. I definitely, definitely am super curious about finding out more. Uh, the thing is... I can most definitely cannot cross. So I'm gonna be guessing I gotta find a way to maybe create kind of like a bridge to take us over there uh, in order to keep on exploring this place. But yeah, at the moment we do not really know much. Do not give up your faith. The king shall free us when it is safe and our people will roam the land again. 
Interesting. All right, we are going to have to return here a little bit later on then. For now, let me have a quick chat with her once again and see what she's going to say. Hey, Gina. I went inside. I hope I didn't freak you out too much when I climbed up. I just never witnessed an actual human re-emerging before, and uh, this whole thing is just a lot. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> um, It's a lot for me too. <laughs> You're right. I guess reappearing out of nowhere will be a lot scarier than just watching someone appear out of nowhere. <laughs> you are an archaeologist, right? Uh, I wish. Right now I'm just an apprentice. I'm doing my thesis on human reemerging with the hopes of uh, becoming a full scholar. So if you see any interesting artifacts that need examining, go ahead and uh, set them my way. Hmm, uh, I sure will do that for sure. They might be the key to becoming a full scholar. Or, you know, the key to discovering the mysteries of uh, what happened to your people. Oh. That second part is obviously a lot more important. Forget I said anything about it. Alright, I found something up ahead. Huh? Hmm, what is it? A huge cliff. Some big ruins. A ruin? Intriguing. Perhaps this was a temple? I wouldn't try to navigate that area without a glider. Oh, so never mind. I'm not going to be able to have to actually build a bridge. I'm going to have to use a glider to glide all the way to that side. You'll need to speak to Nezuma about building one. She usually hangs around the Bahari Bay. Yes, so we finally got a quest to go get a glider. Awesome. All right, you do that. You go get yourself a... Go back to your study, actually. And while you do that, I'm actually going to go and uh, try to find out how I'm going to get myself a glider. I really, really want to get a glider. There we go. Can I inspect these things? No. What if I try to jump off over here? Mm. Oh, wait. Can I not go exploring here as well? Yes, I can. Because I do have a mission to go exploring the Phoenix, right? Investigate the shrine where you were found. All right. Let's check it out. Let's see what it's all about. Man, but this Phoenix actually looks amazing. This is such a pretty game. Ooh, offering to the Phoenix. What? What just happened? Uh. Commune. Oh, I'm offering renown to the Phoenix. What is that doing, I wonder? It's taking away some of my points, but. A renown for leveling up, developing relationship with villagers, completing quests, and completing uh, accomplishments. Uh-huh, so this one is capped at 1,000 renowns, and apparently you're spending it here at the Phoenix. But what, is it, what does it do? I'm going to have to chat with the hunter because apparently he is close by. Can I actually jump off over here? No. <laughs> oh, but I'm noticing that there's a chest on that thing, so once I'm going to give myself the glider, I'm probably going to be able to collect that one. I cannot wait to have the glider. That's going to be so fun. Then we're going to keep on gliding everywhere around with it. Okay, so this fella is 300 meters away. I really want to get to him. Let me get me some mushrooms while we're at it. I really want to try to start cooking some food, combining uh, ingredients as well, and maybe making awesome food that I'm going to be able to just simply eat once, and I'll fill up my exhaustion all the way. All right, 160 meters away. I'm loving the game so far. What's great about this game is that this game is also playable on Nintendo Switch. Which uh, I'm quite shocked. Nintendo Switch platform keeps on getting uh, a lot of awesome games. And I'm amazed that uh, people are able to actually yeah. play them. Huh. Hey, heard you've been putting up that pick I gave you to work. If you want to hone those skills, build yourself a smelter. First step is to turn rock into bricks. I got a couple of other recipes in stone that can help too. Check them out. Hmm. Ooh, we can finally get a smelter going. And I have the money, so let's get it. There we go. So this one is a, a recipe to get a uh, smelter. Uh, this one is a recipe to make copper bars. And a recipe to make ceramic. All right, that's going to be it. Everything that I'm going to spend because I definitely have to get myself some other stuff as well. Uh, don't go and burn yourself on that. I just ran out of bandages. Back to it. <laughs> All right, bud. Let me see what I got to do next. So many missions that we got to do. Ooh, hold up. A quest objective. I got to go all the way that far? Uh, what if I try to go... Oh, never mind. This is the mayor. I got to try to chat with the carpenter. Oh, I have to also place something, something more. 
This one is also blacksmith. Oh my god, look at the size of her. Sifu. Dang it. I'm Sifu, the blacksmith around these parts. Ooh. But you might recognize me as Sifu, the famous monster slayer. <laughs> um. Whoa, you're that Sifu? <laughs> the very one. How did a famous monster lurker like me wind up in a quaint suburban uh, harmless such as this one, you yeah. ask? Well, that's a good question. Fortunately, I have a good answer. You see, I became a mother and I realized gathering dangerous beasties was, well, a little dangerous for my uh, young one. So, I took up the position to uh, be the blacksmith. These days, I make blades instead of wield them. Ah. Hadari told me they were becoming quite a miner. Good for you. If you want to start going something with all that iron you've been uh, finding, uh, might I suggest upgrading your smelter? Hadari should be Whoa. able to teach you how to do uh, keep working on your skills. Now, where was I? All right, hold up. Um, <laughs> let me. Make my way over here real fast. Cause I want to chat with her real fast. I want to see if I can buy something. Um, not here actually. Better get back to work. I wanted to go to her store, which is over here. Um. Oh, but this is not how I'm gonna get myself for the wood chopping. Wait, who am I supposed to chat with? Not in here. I'm gonna be guessing in the tavern. I think this is where I gotta go to, yeah. Also, this fellow is gonna have to teach Good me how to, to cook. You again. So, how's life? Hassian stops by here every day to uh, play cards with Oni. Oh. It kind of surprised me that uh, he's taken such a liking in the little guy. Before that, I thought the only thing that he wanted to was a place of content, uh, how much people disappoint him. I got my hands full right now. Oh, hold up. I can still chat with you, apparently. Hey, you. Ah. Hey, it looks like you came back to uh, taste my food. Smart choice. Lucky for you, I always keep a flask or two of soup handy. This week's special is my world's famous vegetable soup. It's been the special at the inn's eight weeks running. Hmm. And that's not just because it's one of the few things that I uh, have to uh, make. Here, why don't you just uh, have a free sample on the house? So, what do you think? Hmm. Let's go with I hate soup, actually. Do I hate soup? It depends on what type of soup it is. Mmm, that's a lot of lettuce. Ooh, I don't know what you're talking about. It's a perfectly proportioned amount of lettuce. Mm. Some people may say, you read, lettuce is a soupable vegetable. And to those doubts, I would say, everything is soupable if you try hard enough. Still, I've been getting some complaints from our regular diner, uh, diner crew. Uh, they bragged me to make something literally anything else. But I don't know. Uh, no other recipes have really caught my eyes. And Kalari won't let me in the library anymore after the uh, Boulder Bay's accident or incident. Hey, you think you could ask her uh, if she got any uh, cookbooks available? Uh, maybe I'll get some new inspiration. Well, you know where to find me. I think he just gave me a quest there. I'm trying to find the innkeeper, but apparently he's not here. Alright. Um... Anyway, in that case... We gotta do a mission here, 60 meters away. Ooh, who is she? Kalari. Forbidden knowledge can Another newcomer, hmm? Hmm, perhaps you think this building looks friendly and inviting. Maybe we thought you could even browse a book or two. Well, incorrect. A paleo librarian job is not to just loan books to willy nillies. No, she must also guard the knowledge within those sacred tomes. I don't know how they uh, did things uh, where you came from, but impaleans believe knowledge. In the wrong hands, we can it can be disastrous. You may peruse the book's markers uh, for the public use, but you don't see a drop of extra knowledge until I have properly voted you or vetted you. Now, off you go. I'm too far busy to keep uh, calling you. <laughs> Uh, let's chat with her first. Mm -hmm. If you think you can get away with something sneaking around here, think again. I have you know that I'm fully a sanctioned scholar who has devoted her life to uh, the library arts. If you try so much as to return a book to the incorrect shelf, I'll know. Hey, wait, I'm just looking for a recipe. Mm -hmm. Hmm, Reth put you up to this, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Hmm, that boy will do anything to wiggle out of uh, his punishment. I still haven't gotten to the stains out of the ceiling. <laughs> he says that he's really sorry. Only you can save Kalima from the latest uh, menace. Oh, let's go with that. Hmm. Well, then perhaps Kalima shouldn't have hired a carpenter to cook. 
Ah, very well. You may take one, and only one. You'll find them on the shelf. And if a single page is returned to me in a tomato stain, that will be a lifetime ban for both of you. Next time, you should pick <laughs> oh God. Uh, restricted section. Wait, I'm gonna need the key from her to access that? Seriously? That's gonna be cool. Hey, bold fella! <laughs> Look at that, guys. We got a bold friend. Alright, uh, where am I supposed to go? Oh, right here, I guess. So this one is the fancy cookbook. And this one is the dessert cookbook. Let's go with the fancy one. Okay. Oh, so I was supposed to choose between them. Interesting. I don't know how to inspect it, though. Anyway, let me go back and deliver this one to him. Uh, no, this is the furniture store. This is the seed store. Ooh, hold up. We have Ruth here. Where are you going, buddy? Hold up. I got so a mission for you. Do, so little time. Hey, you. I brought you a fancy cookbook. Upper crust, a guide to making food to the Majiri's elite. Hmm, how fancy. Do you mind if I call you a uh, fancy pants? <laughs> You know what? There's no point in you responding. I'm gonna call you fancy pants either way. <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot. Here's a bowl of my world famous vegetable soup to show my eternal gratitude. So for some reason, I have a lot of it left. Uh, go figure. Gotta go. Uh, cooking emergency. <laughs> All right, bud. Go cook that, you. In the meantime, um, I think. Hold up. Is this guy still here? No, this one is Ziki actually. You need something. Can you see I'm a little busy here? Any tips on how I make money? I'm assuming you got a shipping bin on your property. You can make money off just by about anything putting in there. Bugs, mushrooms, veggies, you name it. Heard some humans are even made of fortune off of food uh, they grow themselves. If you're going down that route, uh, might I suggest buying some seeds from me? Oh, and if you're out of uh, about in town, uh, you could try selling some stuff uh, off one of the uh, shopkeeps in town, me including. Thanks for the advice. That was very helpful. Let's go with thanks for the advice. Sure thing, pal. Considering the amount of humans who come to me for financial advice, I ought to start charging you guys for my services. Better be swimming in coins in no time. Well, good luck with making money, Santin. I'll be rooting for ya. If you're looking to buy more than just uh, for me junk, come to see me after hours. Take it easy, but oh, after hours? Uh, this fella is still not here. I'm still looking for the innkeeper, but I don't know where to find this guy. Wait, maybe I actually can access his store here. No, it's closed. Seriously? Hmm. Alright, in that case, uh, let me just make my way towards the mission. Uh, and the bells are ringing again at 6 p.m. I get it. So the bells are ringing at 6 a.m. and at 6 p.m. Cannot wait to get myself a bit of tools so that I can start uh, going through these resources a little bit faster and collecting everything faster. Also, we're about to reach level 3 uh, when it comes to wood chopping. Because we actually chopped down quite a bit of wood. I think we're done for now. Let's just see what this mission is all about. I think this one is going to get us to a different type of area by the looks of it. Uh, oh, you know what? My inventory is kind of full. Hmm. That's fine. Oh, I think this is where I'm going to be learning how to ride horses, hopefully. Or maybe we're going to be able to have our own animal farm. Oh god, hold up, this area is currently loading in, which means a little bit of lag. But this area looks amazing, it's super humongous actually. Hey! Got so many people around. Ah, oh, I missed! She dodged me so much. Wait, where is she? Where is she? Oh my god, she's so fast. I think I, I think I got her. Did I? No, I did not. Man. She's running like crazy. Oh my god, finally got her. Alright, let's grab. Uh, I cannot grab that. There we go. Finally got some stuff. Um, let me eat this one up to free up some space in my inventory. Go to the inventory. 
And of course, you got to place these ones here. If you do not do that, I think they're actually going to be removed out of your inventory after a while. So let me go towards the mission. And let us see what it's all about. Who's this one? Uh, Penny Perkins. Uh, hey. hey, Nijuma. Oh, hi, I'm Nijuma. I work with my dad in the mines, or at least I used to before he said it was too dangerous. Uh, not that I mean to complain to a complete stranger. Sorry. It's it's nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Wait, I just said that. Uh, forget I said anything. Can you build me a glider? Let's uh, chat with him a little bit more. I've been wondering of this really cool combustion power grinder, or more like working. I'll let you fly like a silver wing. I call it the mechanical silver wing. Hey, don't look at me like that. I'm a venture, not a namer. Okay. <laughs> can you build me a glider? Oh, I can build you one, of course. Or more like, can help me with that. I've been troubleshooting my glider tech lately, and I need a bunch of test sub. Oh, uh, uh, volunteers actually to help me with the uh, aer aerodynamics and stuff. Uh, I do it myself, but uh, my dad's been really overprotective lately. He won't let me in the mines. Won't let me jump off cliffs either. Well, if you're interested, I can make one for you too. Just bring me those supplies. Um, okay, bye. Hmm. So, she wants me to bring her supplies, but I'm not sure what. Harvest a carrot and harvest an onion. Wait, that's not what I need. I need uh, sapwood planks, two fabrics. And five letters. What are you doing? Can I help you? Oh, you can also learn what they like. Alright, so I guess we just got the mission to do this. But, um... I'm gonna have to go get me the resources. And then I'm gonna be able to give in to him. Uh, so that we can get the glider. Mm. Well, that's gonna take longer than I thought. I cannot wait to have a glider so that I can simply jump from here and make my way to my destination instead of just simply falling off. Wait, what is... what is this? Whoa, this is kind of like a shrine. What is this? This looks super special. I really want to get one of these to have back home, to be honest. Huh. I wish there was an easier way to actually switch um, to these weapons. Instead of using the wheel. Or more like the tools that we have. Alright, so this is kind of like a temple. Like a dragon temple. Look at this place. What? Huh. Respect. A shrine to the great dragon. Oh man. This looks pretty sick. Alright, let's keep it going. I gotta go back home. I wish there was a shortcut for here, but there's not. Another shrine. Look at that. But can I really interact with it, though? Ooh, we got it. Awesome. Hold up. I want to eat these up. Because I want to collect this one. Hey, we got hunting level 2. That's what I want to see, buddy. View you accomplishments. Ah, so these are all the accomplishments that you're getting. And of course, with each accomplishment that you get, um, you're getting rewarded with renowned items. And of course, some other things that you can place around your uh, home base. Including, like, a really awesome trophy. A bronze plot size trophy. Interesting. This is going to be super fun. This game is absolutely amazing. I know I keep saying this a lot, guys, and you're probably going to keep on hearing me say this a lot as well. But, uh, hey, what can I say? I'm enjoying the game. And I really want to chat with this fellow as well while we're at it. Because this guy is the hunter. We did hunt a little bit. And uh, got to level 2, and I want to see what he's going to say now. Hey, bud. Hmm, you're here. Good. Um, if you insist on going down on this path of hunting, you will need to be to be better equipped. I'm willing to sell recipes to make gear like mine, but remember, tools mean nothing if their owner does not have the skills to wield them. Oh, there we go. So apparently now I can make uh, standard arrows. I don't want to spend 100 coins for this. These are stone arrows, right? Makeshift arrows. Yeah, I'm not going to spend it just because I do not have the money, but oh, man... We're gonna have to spend a lot of coins to get everything. Oh, we can even have kind of like fireworks. Oh, dang it. The game is gonna be so cool. Um, did you still need anything? 
Apologies, my home is a bit uh, spartan in my taste. My mother and I both know a house is nothing more than a smelter or the shelter term, so there's no need to make a big fuss over it. Hey, don't Try worry, buddy, buddy. Not to cause any trouble. Oh god, this guy is so mean. Alright, hold up. Let me get me. Holy smokes, he's fast. Oh my god, we got him. That shot, though. There we go. Alright, let's go home as fast as possible to get rid of the resources. Uh, this way. But uh, if you guys already joined the beta, the closed beta, let me know. Uh, join my Discord and I'm going to be able to also add you guys to uh, the community. I think the community tab is, yeah, look at that. Uh, hold up, this one right here. So our community is going to be Stanty Gaming Community, of course, where I'm going to be able to invite you guys by simply send you, send you guys invite over here and managing all the invites. But make sure you join my Discord, let me know. And uh, I'm actually going to create a Palea, a specific Palea server where we can all chat about things, only Palea. In the meantime, let me make sure I place everything inside the chest here. So I do not lose anything, because I have way too much stuff on me. Including the carrots, why not? Uh, let me see if I have to water these down, because I think I may need to water them down again, right? Examine. Nope, they're already watered down, never mind. I need to get me more seeds, though, that's what I need to get. Also, I need to place a table. Which means I gotta craft me a table. Um, let's grab a table. Hey. All right, let's learn how to make a bench. Yeah. Let me place, for now at least, the table over here. My tent is so small, I cannot wait to actually start making myself a bed and everything. Uh, which I'm actually gonna do... Oh no, I need more fur, so I need to get rid of those things. Um, hold up, can I actually go in here and request one of these items? Yay, I love it that you can actually request stuff. That's super cool. I think you can actually request um, four items per day, like 24 hours, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So I'm gonna request that. Oh, the mayor's here. Hey, buddy. Have a proper chat. Hey, wonderful news. I found the forms under the bookshelves in the records room. They're only a little crumpled, too. Mm. If you can just sign here, here, and here, I'll be able to get you off on that blueprint. Mm. Yes, here, too. And over here, mm -hmm. uh, there we have it. And even I remembered to bring the blueprints with me. These are now yours, Stanton. I suggest you plop the frame down as soon as possible and get building. Now, if you'll just excuse me, I do believe it's time for my break. Hey, there we go. I think we can finally start uh, building our own home here, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure about it. But in the meantime... Uh, okay, so I need to wait for that. Never mind. Hold up. Let me go back here. Back here. Let's see what Hadar is saying. Dear Stanton, heard you've been using that pick I gave you. If you want to learn more about the real life of miners, come see me. I can teach you how to make a smelter or copper bars or even ceramic. It won't be easy, but it will be rewarding. All right, bud. Uh, what do we got here? Can I cook something? Oh, we can. There we go. Uh, what else? So I need to get harvest the carrot, harvest onion, place the fountain of your house. Oh, foundation of the house, actually, I want to say. Not the fountain. Let me grab the mushrooms. And the meat, actually. And that is going to be it for now. So how do you do this? If I go with H, if I go with the foundation, oh my god, we're going to be able to have a house. Finally. First, I got to move some things around, make, uh, make place here. Let me also move myself away. And let's start placing in the foundation. We're gonna need a lot of materials, of course. Oh, love it. All right, so that's gonna be our foundation, right? Which means we're gonna have to bring a lot of resources to get it working. Oh, I can actually place some of these uh, night moths around my house. <laughs> that is cool. Oh my God, look at this. So this is where you actually place the foundation of the house. And uh, then you can uh, start building by bringing materials, of course. So if you want to upgrade stone bricks and planks, which of course we do not have the ability of making any of these just yet. Oh my god, but at least we started up. Look at this, and she's also here. Good to see you. <laughs> oh good, you're still here. 
Kenley mentioned he found the blueprints for a house, so I thought I'd stop by to give you some uh, other useful tips. If you want to finish your house, you'll need stone bricks and uh, sapwood planks, so get comfortable with uh, wood cutting and mining. You've met our innkeeper, Ashura, right? He can teach you how to make a sawmill for those planks. And Hodari sells the stone smelter you need to uh, you need for the bricks. If he is not in the village, check Hodari Bay at the east. Uh, that's where he lives. I'm so happy to hear that you've decided to make Kalima your home. I'll have to stop by again soon with some housewarming gifts. Awesome! Thank you, Tish! Wait, I wanted to chat with her a little bit, but apparently she doesn't. Of course, I'm not gonna be able to build anything here just yet. I love that the entrance is actually so close to uh, this entrance over here to the fence. Um, currently, of course, I'm still living inside a tent. But uh, that's fine. Let us see what else we gotta do. Can I also move some things around? Control, click. Oh, I love it that moving things around is so easy. Look at that. That's awesome, actually. Really enjoy that. Um... Ready to craft. I don't want to craft this, though. I want to make a smelter, since I have the resources, so let's make one. Alright, a smelter is going. And a smelter is going to be going right over here for now. I don't really mind placing things randomly, because it's super, super easy to actually move them around and uh, reposition everything. And now, we can actually go ahead and craft some bars, using stone. Hmm... These ones require two minutes to make. How do you... Oh! Do you click them here? What? Place the materials in the hopper to start. Ah, uh, we gotta place the materials in here. Mm, so this, I just placed the stone here and this is gonna make stone bricks. If I place ceramic, or more like uh, clay I think, that's gonna make ceramic. And if I place the uh, copper ore, that's gonna make copper bars. Interesting. Well, this is super awesome, guys. I'm really enjoying this. Of course, I'm going to have a bunch of these so that we can craft things faster. But for now, we're barely just uh, kind of learning. Uh, while we're at it, while that's doing its thing, let me actually go on and collect some more resources. I'm going to start off by collecting a lot of stone. Alright, I got myself quite a bit of stone. Let's see, is this still going? Oh, it is still going. Look at that. And we got stone bricks. There we go. Awesome. This works so well. Now, I'm going to spend more time here. I think I'm going to spend all my energy uh, because it is very early in the morning. So, I'm going to collect all the resources around. Trees, rocks, everything. And I'm going to place everything inside the chest after that. Uh, let's just keep on getting some more wood here as well. Hey, look at that! Foraging! Level 3! Awesome! I love it that you can actually upgrade all your uh, things that you're doing. So you're looting, you're upgrading that, you're eating, you're upgrading that, you're walking about, you're upgrading that. Everything that you do gets upgraded, leveled up. This is gonna be a very detailed game. And uh, we're gonna spend a lot of time playing this game for sure. Alright, it's 3 a.m. So, the rooster is actually starting to do its sound at 3am, kind of letting let everybody know that morning is coming soon. And at 6am, that's when everybody's waking up. Except for the mayor. The mayor is uh, more of a special person. <laughs> Ooh, sapwoods. Yeah, I don't think I've uh, actually gotten any sapwoods. The thing is, I'm gonna have to make myself obtain the recipe for a basic sawmill from Ashura at the foraging. Yeah, we definitely need that, and also, we definitely have to start selling some stuff uh, to get some money to be able to start making some woods. But let me get as much sap wood as I can, because I think this is actually needed. Alright, there we go. We got some wood, we got some sap wood. Uh, let me get some more sap wood over here. 
I wonder if all these trees are respawning in the, the back of the garden here or not. I, I'm gonna guess no, because we are gonna have the ability to expand our plot. I'm pretty sure about it. And having these trees keep on respawning and messing everything up, I don't think that's what we need. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to find all these trees around the map. But currently, to make things easier, uh, they're all just uh, to the back of my house here. Alright, let's see. Is this done? No, it's still doing it. So if I grab that and I add copper, for example, I'm gonna have this one just doing its thing. Which is pretty cool. Okay, we got the bricks. Let me go into my inventory here for now. Our inventory is full already. Oh, God, we have so much wood. Here we go. That's what I want to see. And a few mushrooms as well, of course, because I can actually go ahead and cook up over here. Craft. All right, let those do their thing. Um, what else? We got another basic smelter, but I don't think I have what I need to make it. What I'm going to make is going to be another chest, because I think I may actually need more resources. Uh, or more like more space to hold things. Let's just... Actually, I cannot place this one anywhere. I'm just going to place it here for now. And now, I think my chest has increased to 12... I'm pretty sure there's going to be a limit to how many things you can actually store, which means I'm probably going to be able to destroy these chests eventually or sell them and uh, create better ones at one point. Uh, one thing that I also want to do is start making more money. So in order to make more money, I have to sell stuff. So let me sell the butterfly. The meat is going to be sold as well. All of it. I have enough food. I don't need it. So that's going to be 69. <laughs> Magic number 69. Uh, sure. Sell some of the fishies. And that's it. I don't really have much to sell, to be honest. So that's not going to give me that much food. All right. Uh, morning is about to arrive. Let me actually get rid of, again, the resources from my inventory. We got quite a bit of it. Uh, food is going to sit in here because I'm going to need that. Now, what do I need to build this up? Let's see. So, in order to upgrade the house, or more like build it, I'm going to need 35 brick stones. Oh, we can actually contribute a few. Ah, that is so cool. So, you're grabbing them directly from the boxes and adding them here. But I'm also going to need 100 sapwood planks, uh, which means I'm going to need the proper thing to do that. Now, hold up. Let me grab the mushrooms. Let me eat them up. Oh, add it. This one, of course, got me more of that. It's making a lot of copper here. And I actually want to replace this one with this. Because as I'm going to be away, I'm going to want this thing to keep on making me as many bricks as possible. Let's get rid of all these. Perfect. And uh, let's head on out. Now, what I'm going to have to do, I'm actually going to have to get myself the blueprint in order to be able to make wooden planks. Oh, God. <laughs> what is wrong with my character? Um... Hello? <laughs> um... Um... <laughs> it is 6 a.m. Uh, now, keep in mind, guys, the game is in closed beta, so there are going to be a few glitches here and there, but do not worry about it. Uh, this is really not game-breaking. We can easily go through here. And look at that. We got uh, the shipment. We got the money that we needed. Wait, what is this? Toggle the placement grid Z while in placement mode. Ah, awesome. Alright, the third leg has added to your friend list. Press enter to show mouse. Wait, what? Friend request received from the third leg. Huh. So I guess I just received a uh, friend request from somebody. Interesting. Let's see what mail we got. Alright, we got some mail from Ashura. Dear Stanton, um, you just keep getting better and better with that axe of yours. Stop by later and I'll teach you how to build an uh, even better axe. Yes! All right, dear Stanton, uh, heard you set up your smelter. Good job. It's just got this program she's set up to encourage investing in Columbus infrastructure or something. Anyways, what if it means to you in a little debate on the price of your first recipe? Keep it up. Hmm, give me some more coins. Dear Stanton, how are you enjoying your foray into the furniture making? If you stop by my shop, I've got some exciting things to teach you. You'll be able to make a glass furnace, a fabric loom, and whole new sets of furnished perfect uh, set over the homesteads. Right, Tish? Dear Stanton, you may not have seen me as I stalk my prey in the forest, but I've seen you. Uh, branching your makeshift bow with a, a bond and scaring every beast in the sight. If you must share your hunting grounds, I would like to teach you to do so more effectively. Please come to see me at once. Alright, bud. 
And lastly, ooh, who's this guy? This one's a brand new one. Dear Stanton, how are you selling in the village? I hope you found the residents here as friendly as welcome as I know they all be. Uh, there's one final resident you've not met yet. Should you have the time and the will, I ask that you speak with the dragon at his shrine north of the village. You may not be his child, but I'm sure he'll welcome you in the Kalima. Just the same. Hmm. A dragon. Am I just about to speak with a dragon? Seriously? Uh, hold up. Before we head on out, pretty sure I got one of these down. That's why I actually wanted to make my way back here. Alright, that's gonna get some water. I'm gonna be guessing tomorrow, uh, everything is actually gonna be ready to be harvested. Wait, what? Oh, I think my request was rejected because I really want to make a bed, but uh, apparently my request got rejected there. Interesting. Right, so the stones are going to make their way, their, their way to me, I guess. In the meantime, I'm just going to get rid of this one. And as I'm going to be went, uh, gone away, hopefully those stones are going to be done. And I'm going to have enough to finish up my home. In the meantime, let me see what that friend request was all about. Friend request from Third Leg. Accept. Invite community. Whisper. Hey, buddy. <laughs> that is so cool. That is so cool to have this uh, feature. All right, and we're back. Uh, thankfully, the glitch is not happening anymore. Now, what I'm gonna have to do is, first of all, make my way to... Oh, that fella's sleeping, never mind. Apparently, he's not waking up at 6 a.m. as everybody else. Huh. 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 Cannot wait to blind. Currently, I'm just jumping aimlessly. All right, in that case, I'm gonna have a quick chat with uh, the carpenter over here. See what she's got for me today. Apparently, she's on a stroll. Yep, she's just strolling about. And then, hopefully by that time, we're going to be able to meet some more people. Nice to see a hey, new Tish. Face. I heard your furniture making skills are just... Mwah. <laughs> but there's always something new to learn. I've got a bunch of new recipes available for you to buy. Uh, ooh, a glass furnace. A fabric loom. A homestead medium bed. Hey, I'm going to be able to make a bit of bed. Sure, let's get it. It's not expensive though. Let me get a loom. Let me get the glass furnace. We have enough. And hopefully a hundred is gonna be for the wood thingamajig as well. Pretty good deal, huh? You get rewarded for your hard work, and I get buddy talk to shop with. Nice chatting with you. Awesome. Hi. Hold up, Chesh. I want to chat with you more. I love the wishful willow that grow here. Not only are they beautiful, but they also love their bark is soft and pillable. It's super easy to make beautiful furniture if you're working with uh, Willow Bark. Alright. Hold up. Is the chat... Uh, did my fella say anything in the whisper? No. Apparently he did not reply. Hey, this fella woke up. So let's have a quick chat with him. And see if I can get myself a new uh, blueprint. Hopefully we can. I think he's inside his room, right? Yeah, I think he, he's upstairs. He's getting ready to come down. Let me make my way to him. Everybody's going to go to him. <laughs> Nobody wants to wait for him to come down. Oh, look at that. He's doing push-ups. Hey, buddy. Good job. I should actually learn from this fella and do push-ups when I wake up as well, to be honest. Uh, that's uh, one of my goals. I just got to start. Take a load off. Hey, Shura. It's good to see you embracing foraging. My son and I used to do it together all the time. I think you're ready to do this new new recipe I've got in stocks. Alright, so we find the basic sawmill that we needed. Perfect. Finally. That's what I came here for. If uh, you've got any questions, just make sure you ask me. I love this valley. Every day the crickets chirp a new song. The wind blows the smell of different flowers through the air. Life is only monotonous to those who are looking hard Take enough. Alright, bud. Thank you for the blueprint. That is all I came here for. And lastly, apparently I gotta go 400 meters away. Where am I going? Oh, to the Magisa uh, Hollow. I think this is where the dragon is, right? Uh, I've already seen the dragon statue, but I never actually chatted with that. So, let me make my way over there for a second. Let us see what that's all about. I think if I'm mistaken, when you're putting your way your weapon, uh, you are running a little bit faster compared to when you're having it on your hand like this. Not 100% sure. It might not be, because I'm looking at my uh, feet, and it doesn't look like I'm running faster if I don't have anything in my arms. Ah. 
Yep, this is exactly where I went to, where the dragon was, right? To the Temple of the Dragon. So let's see what the dragon is going to say. I'm guessing the dragon is going to speak through the statue. It's kind of like a spirit that's going to talk to me. I think so, I don't know. Oh, look at this. Oh, so we're communing here as well. And I got 15 renown. The Dragon Shrine quest completed. What? Hmm. So we got the Phoenix. We got the Dragon. And if I commune... Maximum focus increase to 300. Ah. So I think what you're doing, you're actually spending those points... In order to increase uh, different things. So for the Dragon, we are increasing something. With the Phoenix, we're increasing something else. I'm pretty sure about it. Alright, in that case, let me go back home. Alright, we are back. I love how this thing is making noise every single time we're coming back home. Uh, these things do not need watering down. They're going to keep on growing. Uh, how is this going? Let's see. Okay, we got four so far. It's chugging along. It's not the uh, fastest, of course, process, but hey, it works. There we go. We got four more in there. Let me make myself a sawmill. Uh, not a sawmill. So for the bed, I'm going to need pillows. Request items. Request item. Ooh, this one has been fulfilled. Let me grab it. So these are going to be all of them that I can request uh, 24 hours. I'm not going to be able to request anything anymore, apparently. But that's fine. Okay, so we got to make some planks. But in order to make planks... I got to make a basic... Wait, I already have a big smelter. I need a basic sawmill, actually. And I have everything that I need for it. Thankfully. Alright, let me go in here. Get rid of that. We got four... And this bad boy is going to go in here. Uh, let's also go with control. Move this one along. Uh, okay, the fire is going to move away. There we go. And finally... G. Wait, what? Oh, I got to exit the... Uh, there we go. F. And all you got to do is just place a lot of wood in here. There we go. Oh, you can only place a maximum of 99 inside. Interesting. Of course, this is going to take a while to start chugging along and make me uh, planks. But uh, I'm just going to have to wait. Hold up. Maybe I can get another one to have two. Let's see if I can get another one. Hopefully, I have enough materials. Yep, I do. There's one more here. And... They're pretty expensive to make, so I'm not going to make another one. Let's just have two for now. Okay, let's get more wood in here. Then we're going to have to go looting some more. In the meantime, can I make one for bricks as well? Because apparently bricks are taking quite a while. Nope, because I need a lot of stone. And some of these as well. Which we do not have. That's fine. Also, we need a glass furnace. But for the glass furnace, we need... Uh, ceramic. Six, uh, three ceramics and... Stone bricks. 15 stone bricks. Jeez. That's going to take a while. Alright. Let me... Uh, get some ceramic going then by using the clay. Let that do its thing. Oh! Hey, buddy! Are you just checking up uh, on me? I always have time. For I see you being quite existence. busy around here. That's good. Very good. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do you have anything for me? Uh, like what? <laughs> like a housewarming <laughs> gift, of course. Wait, what? Now I'm confused. I... Is is that not how humans do it? How strange. No, buddy, you're the one that has to give me a housewarming gift. What the heck? Well, here in Kalima, when someone new moves into the neighborhoods, they go around with small gifts for their new neighbors, snacks and toys and the likes. If you ever want to be invited to one of my wife's dinner parties, I suggest making the rounds. Goodbye. This guy's weird. <laughs> the mayor is so weird. Um, I don't think I want to sell anything just yet. What I want to do, I want to make sure I place everything back in here. So this one is going to craft me some resources, right? Uh, all this clay is going to be turned into ceramic. That's what I need. Currently, the brick is finishing. And now I think the ceramic... Oh my god, 
four minutes to make the ceramic. Oh, jeez. Wooden planks are pretty fast, apparently. So, uh, that's great. I'm gonna need to do a lot of looting, of course, to finish this. There we go. We put some wood in there. Well, in that case, uh, let me actually collect all the resources that I can. All the wood, everything. Alright, there we go. I got myself quite a bit of resources. I'm not sure if it's enough, but let me go over here for now. Okay, this one is to 33, but this one is doing sap, and apparently I do not have any more sap to place in there for some reason. Uh, what about this one? This one is doing also sap plank woods. 88 inside there, so that should be chugging along just great. This one is working on the final ceramic. I think I only needed three. After this, I actually want to replace... Uh, actually, you know what? I think I can do it now because this is doing it. So I'm going to need only three. And then I'm going to just place the rocks in there. Oh, I think you can also put these stone bricks inside. But maybe not in this forge. I'm probably going to need like an advanced forge in order to make even a more uh, powerful stuff. Uh, as for food, I cannot cook anything. I think if I'm not mistaken, I got something delivered. Um, if I'm not mistaken... Yeah, I think it was one of the pillows, right, that got delivered. I cannot do any more requests because we are out of requests for the day. Uh, in the meantime, I could craft me this bed since I don't have what I need to make me this bed, the, the medium homestead. I'm going to make it. I'm going to sell it eventually after that or maybe disassemble it or whatever. I guess we're going to have to wait and see. For now, I want to make these ones. Or more like learn how to make them. All right, let's grab this bed. The size of it. <laughs> this is gonna just uh, take all the space. I think I, I think I'm just gonna sleep outside. There we go. <laughs> awesome. I don't think you can. Um, or maybe I can actually sleep on it, but maybe only during the night time. Oh, never mind. You can. Or no, you cannot. Maybe only during the night time. I think I'm gonna have to start uh, trying to figure out how to gift stuff to people. More like learn what uh, people want from me, or more like what they prefer to get gifts. Um, oh, not to mention, hold up, let me go into the missions here. I want to make me this one, I want to pin this one up. Wait, I got to unpin something. Happy housewarming, house with house, this one I'm going to unpin. And instead I'm going to pin this one. So we need five leather, two fabrics, and three sapwood planks. So I'm going to need this one if I want to have a glider. Uh, fabric and leather. I mean, I think I'm getting leather by taking down, um, some animals. But I'm gonna be guessing I'm gonna need a loom. So actually... Create leather out of the, uh, fur that I'm getting out of them, right? Pretty sure that's how it works. If I check the map... There are no more quests around here, by the looks of it. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, we got a person here that we've never met. Let's see who this one is. Let me make my way to a brand new character over here. And try to meet him. Oh, it's this guy. Look at him. Holy smokes, he looks amazing. Kane. He looks awesome, actually. I'm always here if you ever Hello, Phoenix guys. Child. Welcome to our fair village. I'm Kane, the local ritual sage, and devotee of the Magi, the Great Dragon. It's my job as Kalimi as a healer and sage to care for our villagers, both physically and spiritually. Tell me, are you spiritual? Um... I only believe what I see. Hmm, that's alright. I accept the views of all, even those different from my own. How else are we to grow if we never expose ourselves to those with uh, different views? If you ever find yourself in need of medical attention, you, n you know where to find me. Come sit with me if you wish to meditate. I find sometimes when I clear my mind, I can almost see across the veil that separates our world from the dragons. Make huh. sure you take time to enjoy the moment. Huh. Hey, got him. Getting better with my uh, bow skills for sure. Uh, let's try to get a little bit of a dip. Nope, I missed. Dang it. Uh, I hit this thing. Almost had it. Hey, how do I miss that? Where's that, dude? Come on! There we go. We got him. 
getting better at it, of course. The more we hunt, the more we get better at it. All right, we got some chopper meat. I really want to find that onion, though, not garlic. The thing is, I do have some onions growing back home, but I think it's going to last a while before I'm going to be done with it. There we go. Hunting skills are improving. I'm getting good at it. Of course, I'm playing with the mouse, um, which means aiming. It's super easy for me. Because these fishies that we're seeing here, they're really, really important to get. Uh, hold up. Let me try it again. All right. The world is so beautiful in the distance. Love it. Actually, I tried to change um, my settings. But I just, like, I couldn't do it for some reason. There wasn't an option in the uh, settings there when I tried to change uh, that told me to save the, setting, the settings. And uh, after I tried to save the settings, it said that I'm about to exit without saving. So I'm not sure why that was a thing. Wait, can I actually collect these flowers out of the water? It seems like I can. Oh, Crystal Lake Lotus. I can. Oh, I'm stuck. No, did I, did I just get myself stuck? I think I did. I think I did. <laughs> Alright, hold up, guys. I think I'm gonna have to restart here. Ooh, another lotus flower. Awesome. And another one. Wait, what is that message that I just got? The sewers. Wait, I can actually go in the sewers? What? What is this? Oh, I think this is where the mine is. Oh, you can buy lucky lucky coins with 10,000 actual coins. Are you kidding me? What? Fireworks and everything, paintings. That's awesome. That's super cool. Uh, Zeki's General Storm. Hmm. You need a key from Zeki. Interesting. All right, let's keep on exploring then. Let us see what else we can find right here. It is currently 9 p.m., which means it's very late outside. Come on, little bonesies. I want to actually do fishing and stuff like this with everybody. So that we can get a bonus. Because if you're doing it together with other people, you're getting bonuses. Instead of just doing it on your own. Apparently the fishes that I'm trying to catch, they're pretty chill by the looks of it. There's not many fishes out there that are pretty hard to catch. At least I haven't come across any just yet. Oh, hey buddy. What are you doing up here? Any cool bugs? Oh, hi. I got my curfew extended on account of the fact that I got all my chores in early. Don't verify with my mother though. She likes to play this game where uh, she acts like I'm lying. <laughs> Um, I've been trying to get the brush tail dragonfly. Ooh. But they keep flying Catch away. Later, okay? So apparently if I give this guy a brush tail uh, dragonfly, he is hopefully going to want to become friends. Going to have to test that theory out, I guess. I'm going to be guessing dragonflies are kind of flying uh, close to waters. Oh, there's a chest over there. I think the only way I can grab that chest is if I get the glider. Once I get the glider, I can jump from here, glide, and then collect the chest. Yeah. So I desperately desperately need to get my hands on a glider. All right, in that case, hold up. We're done for now. Let me make my way all the way back here, which is home. So uh, let me actually skip as I'm actually going to go back home. All right, and we are back. Now, let us see what we got to do next. First of all... I gotta get rid of everything from my inventory. We have way too much stuff, you know, on us. We got flowers, we got boots. All sorts of random stuff. Materials. I gotta craft me more stuff, that's for sure. Uh, so, let me see if I can. So, uh, let's make some arrows. That's just 20. Let me make uh, more. I wish I could actually select how many we can make. Okay, let's make another set, I guess. Alright, we should have 60 by now. Uh, oh, we need flowers. 
So apparently, in order to make the smoke bombs, I need these type of flowers and of course, uh, clay. Dear Stanton, I heard you built your own first sawmill. I still remember when I first made my first plank. The sides were so warped and uneven, everyone thought it was an art project. Anyways, um, Eshe uh, has this program to encourage new builders that uh, means you gotta rebate to the cost of the sawmill recipe. I retached it to the letter. Don't spend it only once. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for 100 coins. Actually, he gave me the coins that I gave him uh, for the recipe, which is great. Alright, in that case, let me see if I can make more stuff here. Uh, also, can I sleep? No. How do you rest, though? That's what I still don't know how to do. Fish, I cannot make fish, but I can make this. Meat. Okay. Uh, so, we needed sap with planks. Three of them. We already have one. Uh, we already have enough. Oh, wait. Where's my fabric? I think I placed the fabric here, that's why, yeah. So I have one fabric, I still need one more fabric, and we still need, uh, five leather. Hey, it's 3 a.m. Oh wait, what did I just unlock? Congratulations, cooking is now level 2. Ah, oh, I can make a stove, seriously. That's gonna be super cool. And I think I gotta visit Reth, uh, so that he can actually start telling me to... Or more like, teach me new ingredients, or new recipes, how to cook and stuff. Hey, there we go. It is 6 a.m. Everybody's gonna start waking up. Uh, let me also collect a little bit more sapling here. There we go. Finish up, uh, getting rid of some more stuff right here. Let us see. I think I also got myself a mail, if I'm not mistaken. Also, since it is 6 a.m., I think... I think my garden is ready to be collected. <gasps> it is! Yes! Finally! Unfortunately, not the onions, though. The onions are gonna require another day, I think. Yeah, the onions are definitely going to require another day. At least I'm getting the carrots for now. Alright, let's collect carrots. Perfect. Uh, did I get any seeds? Oh, we got seeds! Awesome! Uh, there we go. Carrots over there. Unfortunately, I only got one seed out of that, but that's fine. That's good enough for me. What are you down? And, uh, perfect. Definitely gonna want to sell these ones for sure. So let me go in here. Sell them. Because these are gonna be a lot of resources, hopefully. Let me get rid of some flint as well. I do need the money. Dear Stanton, one of the three is that you become quite a whiz with your campfire. Stop by the inn when you have time. I have a little surprise for you. I can teach you how to make more than just food. Soon you'll make your own stove, prep station, and my secret recipe for delicious vegetable soup. <laughs> I don't think I want that, buddy, but at least I will try to get myself a stove in a kitchen and everything. Of course, I'm gonna have to move on to my house because currently I'm still living in a tent, uh, which is not the best. Alright, finally we can put in the stone over here. Perfect. Uh, this one is up to 87, this one is up to 47. Alright, there we go. Finally, let's grab it. And let us get ourselves the loom. Uh, go here, here, and make. Finally! And this is gonna allow me to now, of course, make fabric. Grab the loom. Place it randomly here for now. Uh, we can finally make fabric and leather! Ah, so of course, we need Shinnok hides and... Wait, how do I... What? What do you make out of this one? Aha! So using this, you're making leather. Okay, so in order to make... I don't know how to place this here because it wasn't allowing me. This one is taking quite a while, so we're gonna have to uh, let it do its thing, I guess. Man, but at least it's working. At least we're doing something. <laughs> we're definitely on the right path, for sure. Alright, well, uh, with that done, uh, anything else that I gotta still build? So, we got the smelter, we got the sawmill, we got the... Oh, wait. I also need this one. So, for this one, of course, we still need more ceramic and copper bars. But, of course, in order to get ceramic, I don't think we have any more clay. Yeah, I can make copper bars, but I definitely cannot make... Um... I definitely cannot make anything else because I do not have clay. Okay, this one is going to be 
up to 80, 25. We're getting there. Just a few more. And we're gonna be done with the house. Just a little bit longer. And in the meantime, um, let me make my way to this fella. Oh, hold up, hold up. I think I can now... Hunt a little bit more, right? Oh, why am I getting glitched here? Hey, we got him. Uh, eat this up. What is this sound? Oh, hold up. What is this fella doing? Can I help you, buddy? Oh, I think we need like a really, really powerful axe in order to actually do this. Either that, or we need to work together. Because currently I'm just hitting it randomly, but nothing happens. Come on, help up, help up. Maybe if you help up, we're gonna be able to do it. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to do it, unfortunately. We may need more people. Or, hold up. We're doing it. Hold up. Hold up. Come on, come on. We got this. Oh, this is gonna be the first time we're actually collecting whatever this is gonna give us. So I'm super curious to see what's gonna happen here. Apparently doing it in two people is enough. Come on, we got this. Almost there. Almost. Hey, we got it. We got flowing fused wood. What? <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> huh. Good thing that the tree that we found there that had the um, flow infused, I guess. A uh, good thing that it... It was not a big tree, right? Because we could not help it with that. Uh, there are some onions here, but I cannot collect them. Ooh. Oh my god, he's running like crazy. Oof, I missed. There we go. Hey, buddy. Are you gonna teach me how to cook? Please teach me how to cook. So you're becoming quite a campfire cook, huh? But did you know that you can also cook things in other uh, receptacles? And not just because open flames can lead to unfortunate incidents where you accidentally burn down all your system's freshly carved furniture, <laughs> stoves are also stoves are also needed in the fine in the fine in the fine arts of crafting soup. To make the perfect vegetable soup, you also need a prep station. Those veggies aren't going to chop themselves after all, no matter how hard you wish they would. Oops, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, uh, to help you along with your cooking journey, I came up with the uh, some recipes for you. Of course, he's gonna give me this one, thankfully for free. The recipes for making prep station and the standard stove. Awesome. And a hearty vegetable soup. I'm guessing this is a recipe, right? That I gotta learn. Yeah, let's purchase it, whatever. We have enough coins for now. Oh, these are also free. Requires... Uh, I gotta become level 5 cook in order to get these ones for free. Interesting. Don't burn down our kitchen, though. It's hard to clean up after. Sorry, <laughs> can't stand chat. Alright, buddy. I'll try, I guess, not to burn down my house. Oh, hold up. Also, I need to grab me some dragonflies. Perfect. A brush-tailed dragonfly. I think I know exactly who wants this one. Let me see if I can find him on the map. If I give him this as a present, we might actually finish up another quest. Hopefully, he just wanted one. Hey, buddy, I see you. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming. Did not go anywhere, buddy. Alright, gift. This ah. one. Hey, I've been trying to catch one of these little fellas all day. How did you know? <laughs> well, you actually told me, buddy. Awesome. Mm. Not now. I've been chasing after this uh, leaf hopper for ages. I can't beat me. This time, though. So he wants a leaf hopper oh, this time. He's got a dragonfly now. Awesome. Jeez. Got him. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a lot of hunting because I want to get those looms working. As I'm going to do uh, focus on other things. I just want the looms to do their thing. Hey, foraging level four. Perfect. All right, let's grab another one. Headshot. Man, I'm hungry. 
Yeah, do you know how bug scouts have all these cool badges to earn, right? Ah. Well, I'm trying to get my entire uh, print, my entire uh, my selling stuff badge. <laughs> are you saying entrepreneur? Uh. I don't think it's how you say oh. it. Anyway, the bug scouts are giving me lots of great stuff to sell. Oh, interesting. Can also sell them this. Can sell here. So apparently, I'm gonna be able to buy a lot of stuff from him. Once I'm gonna have the uh, enough of these golden coins, or more like bug catching medals. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, but if you keep showing them all the stuff you catch, I can get even more. Bye bye. All right. Let's see what the hunter's gonna say. I think I just upgraded it. That's why the hunter wants to talk to me again. Get on with it. You're making acceptable progress. Uh. I have a new recipe available for you to purchase. Ooh, what is that? Oh, a new bow, 250. Ugh, I want it. I want everything these guys are selling. <laughs> Don't put me wrong. I'm scaring away all the prey. What do you mean I'm scaring away all the prey? I'm just chatting with you. Come on. How do you do nothing? He's so mean. Oh, he's just enjoying some fishing. Never mind. Hello there, friend. Hey, you're doing our valley proud, Stanton. Foraging in a way that cares for the land you live in isn't easy. Maybe you got a recipe right here that can make it easier for you? Huh. So, he's got a heavy sawmill recipe. Oh, so many recipes, actually. Thanks for stopping by. It's always nice to meet Don't you. Or see ya. Thanks, buddy. That was not bad. At the same time, before I'm going to head on back home and see what else has finished... Uh, nope, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm actually going to go back home now. Because I want to see if anything has actually finished doing its thing. Alright, let us see. Uh, first of all, I don't think the onions are ready to be collected. Nope, still not ready. So... The stone, it's still chugging along. Let me get rid of the stuff from my inventory. Because we got a lot. Look at that. So much stuff. I love it that you can uh, actually leave stuff in your inventory here. You don't have to carry it. And if you want to try to sell something, for example, if I go here, you can simply do it like this. So I can actually place the butterfly in there. Oh, there's a the common cricket that I can give to that fella. Maybe tomorrow I'm going to be able to do it, yeah. Including fish you can sell. Crystal lotus flowers you can also sell if you want to. That's awesome. Um... Uh... Oh, you can make these as well. That's so cool. All right, let's see. So I can place. Oh, I just need two more bricks. And when it comes to wood, I don't have enough. Let me get the wood also. There we go. And there we go. And there we go. These are still chugging along. And we thankfully got ourselves some leather. So, I cannot place this one here, though, for some reason. I cannot make fabric. Or is this actually already fabric? Oh, this is already fabric. Is it? I don't know how it works. Uh, I think I need cotton to make fabric. Never mind. Okay, I got it. In that case, let's make more leather using this one. We got 10 of them, thankfully, because we did went hunting. Let's also finish this up. Finally, all I need is two more stone bricks. And that's going to be it. Wait, I have one. I have actually enough. Wait, what? Well, I only had one. Never mind. <laughs> I need one more. It is. Yes. It took a while. Let's put this on. And let us finish up the house. A oh my god. So this one didn't really finish up the house. It only created kind of like the foundation. Actually, we had the foundation. Now we have the skillet of the house. And next up, if I want to keep on uh, building it. Oh, build time remaining. Eight hours. Are you kidding me? So I guess we're going to have to return uh, tomorrow. And uh, our home should be done. Ah, so I think this is not just a skeleton. I think what I've done here, I've applied all the materials. And if I return in eight hours, our home is going to be bigger or more like finished. Awesome. Awesome indeed. 
All right, well, there we have it, guys. This has been another day in Pelia. I'm absolutely loving this game. I cannot wait for tomorrow when our home is going to be built up. It's going to take eight hours, but um, man, it's going to be super fun. I'm loving this game. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed this. And also, if you want to grab the game for yourselves, check out the links down below the description. Currently, the game is available in beta. I'm currently playing this one in the closed beta, but the open beta is going to arrive soon, and I'm going to have all of you guys joining. Uh, I already created a community here. If I go to my community tab and I'm going to be able to invite all of you so we can all just hang out together, maybe during the live streams and have fun. So until that time arrives, thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.